this Saturday, and I'm looking forward to joining each of you at Thornapple to talk about a subject that is difficult to discuss, but absolutely necessary. It is lament. It seems as if the longer we live in this world, the more we see that the world is filled with pain and disappointment and sorrow and loss, and it's really difficult to know where to go with that. So what I would like to do is uh, talk about lament and how important it is in the church to give people not only guidance, but also permission to express the things that really are painful. But I would also like to use the Psalms in order to do that. Um, it's amazing to me that there are over 40 Psalms in the Bible that actually deal just with lament. And so imagine if you and I began to use those psalms as tools as we navigate our way through the pain of this life. So I'll talk about the psalms a little bit, and then I want to focus on Psalm 22. It's a model for a lament. It's a psalm that I think Jesus had memorized, and in fact, it even appears on the cross. But then we can see that Studying a psalm like this will give us new insight into how we reflect on our own lament and give us guidance. I hope it'll be a good morning for you, and I hope you'll come away thinking new thoughts about how it is we um, navigate this world together and the way in which God really gives us permission to, to express our sorrows. I'll see you on Saturday.